Hi, I'm Martin Willis. And I'm Phyllis Scott. This is our first video uh, cast. We're going to give this a shot. And um, we're here today. We're, we're um, right in front of these nice collectibles. We're going to show you a couple of items, go over a few things. Phyllis is going to ask me a couple of questions. And um, so we'll start right out right here with this is a, a beautiful um, 19th century decanter. And nice, I hope you can see the color of it. It's a beautiful, mm -hmm. like an emerald glass. Mm -hmm. It's called a, uh, this is a, called a two ring decanter. They always count, there's three ring decanters, four ring decanters. It's a two ring decanter with a ground faceted stopper. On these nice old decanters, every stopper is ground just to fit that decanter itself. Um, this is probably Irish or English, and it's fine quality. You can see right here, this is what's called a ground and polished pontal right here. The pontal stick, which is broken after the piece is free-blown, is then ground and polished to make this nice soft surface right here. Now, free-blown, that term, what does that mean? It's not blown, blown into a mold, so um, it's handled and blown and twisted, um, you know, to make a nice even um, a nice even form mm -hmm. and um, th these aren't easy to do a lot of them were destroyed because they weren't uh, you know they weren't perfect and this is one that could fool about anyone because um, it looks like a nice period uh, early um, 19th century New England glass piece blown in the mold it's a three-part mold um, you can see the broken pontal mark here mm -hmm. but also while I'm on the bottom right here see how there's no wear on it right here. This is actually Clevenger Brothers, which made beautiful examples of, um, of 18th and early 19th century reproductions in New Jersey um, between 1930 and 1960. So here's a Clevenger Brother um, three-part mold uh, blown uh, pitcher. Nice uh, amethyst glass color. Applied handle. They were really masters at creating um, old uh, reproductions. And uh, so there's that one. That one is not going to have as much value as a period one, but it's still collectible. Mm -hmm. And I would say somewhere in the two to four hundred dollar range, something like that. This is one of my personal favorites. Oh yes, this is. Um, these are some pieces we got out of uh, out of uh, uh, Reno, Nevada. Now it's a nice, nice lot of Americana. If you look at this um, piece right here, you'll see a pretty interesting portrait. I would consider this folk art, actually. Um, looks like kind of an angry young man here, doesn't it? Yeah, um, I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Passionate. Yeah, I think he has tattoos. I don't know. Probably. Probably not. No, <laughs> back then. Um, nice, uh, nice overcoat he's wearing, and uh, it's a nice profile, and you can see the India ink little lines drawn in here, so it's kind of a really nice uh, folky piece. So probably 18... Well, probably right around 1800, I would guess, on this, with a later Victorian what's called a deep walnut frame but that's a nice uh, piece of Americana there I don't know exactly what that one is going to be worth uh, mm -hmm. I would guess somewhere between 500 and all the way up to over a thousand dollars it's an wow. it's a interesting piece yeah. nice okay. these are um, these are not a real high value item but I think they're very interesting these buckles are uh, Philadelphia uh, silver buckles these are 18th century shoes. Now, you just don't see a lot of them. Again, it's not like a huge amount of value. But um, you see the steel cleats in the bottom, almost mounted like horseshoes on these yeah. right here. Very interesting wooden soles. Um, this is how the shoes were in the 18th century, late 18th century. And to find an example in, in uh, fairly good condition um, is... Uh, is not too common. They look terribly uncomfortable. You know, they, yeah, they are. I'm sure they are. Um, you know, these are shoes and leather and all this stuff is all biodegradable and just goes away. So you don't find intact, uh, you don't find these intact too often. Are you tempted to put them on? Um, I, I tried. <laughs> they didn't fit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is one of my personal favorites. Um, this is out of a home. Um, not too far away here in California, of course, it originated from the East Coast. Look at the beautiful board on the back of this, like a pumpkin pine. Mm -hmm. Wonderful um, oxidation. Um, this is called a schoolgirl sampler, and you can see it has almost like a bark frame. It's the original frame. Um, this is dated 1766, and I do believe I was, was able to uh, track down the family in Virginia. 
And look at the wonderful uh, folk art uh, design of this. Um, so you have an American sampler, 1766, on the original backing. Now I talked earlier about pieces being, the shoes being biodegradable. Well, so is cloth. And this is right on an acidic board, pine board, and it's lasted all these years. Um, what ultimately needs to be done is this needs to be put on acid-free. Um, the board on the back here can be kept, but uh, mounted on top of a thin foam, foam board or acid-free cardboard. But still, it's a wonderful piece, and, and actually, if you really think about it, for its age, it's in, it's in very good condition. Remarkable. It's a very nice piece. And I would expect a price in that well over 5000 up. We will see. There's one thing that I just thought of that I want you to talk okay. about. Okay. I have to go get it. Is it far away? No, nope, but I can We'll be so. coming up at auction. That was interesting. This piece right here, isn't that fantastic? This is ivory, carved ivory, and wonderfully carved ivory. A lot of detail. A bacchanalian scene with grapes, yeah. dancing, tambourine on here. This is uh, early 19th century Dutch and um, a beautiful uh, vermeil. Vermeil. Vermeil interior. Right here we have an old uh, paper inside of a description of this in, in Dutch. And uh, just a fabulous piece yeah. right here. We expect somewhere $4,000 or higher for this. It's kind of disturbing how fabulous it is. It's a little it really too is. fabulous. It's wonderful. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure that the people that commissioned this, the family that commissioned this, were uh, had other wonderful things in their home. Mm. So I guess that's going to do it for now. Hope you learned something. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm we'll sorry see. about the crash. I didn't see the mirror. It's leaning against the uh